Okay, the band or a towel, just take that and just take your shoulders forward and back. So if you go forward, forward and back, and then forward side to side, just to ease your body up and wake it up a little bit. We're just alternating forward and back. You can do it with a jumper or a towel. That's it. And then side to side. And then we'll spice it up and go around the world. So around the world as you're coming around and up, go one way and then the other. One way and the other. So you can just alternate between those three. You're around the world and you're falling back side to side. And it just sets your body moving a little bit. Getting everyone in, everyone's here. Cool. Okay, so take it into just a few squats. Hold your band, and you're just going to push down and up. Just nice and steady squats just to warm up your legs. That's it. coming down and up and then do 10 squats and then come down and if you do 10 just tap your knees or 10 sit-ups so just go between 10 squats and 10 sit-ups so just letting your body move there we go okay Okay, so within the um, exercise, um, I'd say you finish off the warm up, just sit ups, few squats, the seven movements, um, and they can be all body weight if you want them to, and just take them at your own pace. I will give you some options to go a little bit more crazy into the jumps if you want to, and then options for no jumps. You really take it in your own time. So if you want to come up to stand, and we'll do the first round, but we're starting off as warming up. So the first round is your warm up round, and the other round you can take it in a little bit more. Okay, the first one is a squat, and then a turn, squat, and then a turn. So you might need to slip your floor where you are. So you're squatting, and then you're turning around, squat, and turn. Now those that want to jump it, then squat, Turn, squat, turn, if you want to jump, but it is a warm up round. Okay, now we're going to go for 60 seconds. Within that 60 seconds, take a break when you want to. We're going to start in about five seconds. Try and get my screen right. Three, two, one. So you're squatting and then you twist and turn. Squat, twist. And turn. So you're going to go like this for a minute. You can add in weights. Those with bands can always pop bands on if you want. So you're coming down and around, down and around. Brilliant. Okay, you've 30 seconds left. So at 30, you might want to stop and have a little break and then come back in. Squat to turn, squat to turn. So you can take this nice and steady, squat, walk, and some of you will be going more dynamic. It might be jumping. <laughs> 10 seconds left. So really squeeze those legs. That's it. Four, three, two, one, best. And then we go into core. So grab a cushion, we're gonna go into a side plank. So you might want to have a, a can or a weight. Now, we're going to do 30 seconds each side. So, with a cushion, level one, you are here, and you've got your both knees here. Level two, level three. Okay. So we're going to do 30 seconds on one side, 
30 seconds the other. Level one, make sure you start with both knees here. Your hips are coming off the floor. And if your hips can't come off the floor, bring them up for a little bit and then take them back down. Okay, another 15 seconds this side. Those that want to, pop in your rotations. That's it. And then we're going to switch sides. Three, two, one, switch sides. So we're going to keep coming back to these exercises and changing them up. So into side plank again. So level ones. When I show the level one, the, the um, starter of the exercise, just stay there. You don't need to go anymore. Just make sure you're nice and comfortable in these positions. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, then we start to raise a heart rate. We've got a minute of burpees. And each time we come back to we'll mix them up. We're just gonna start with walk out burpees, walking out, I'm walking in. Those that want to jump in, in and out, you can. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. Okay, walk out to warm up. You can use a chair, absolutely fine to use a chair to put your hands on, coming out and in, and coming up. Nice, okay, so with your burpees, we're going for a minute. So why are we putting them in sets? Go for five burpees, rest. Five burpees, rest. Okay, so 30 seconds left. Those on you all the way to the floor, go all the way. This is your pulse raiser. 20 seconds. So with these exercises, it'll be a pulse raiser, calm one, pulse raiser, calm one. 10 seconds left. That's it, brilliant. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, rest up. Okay, for the next one, level one, you're going to stay in a plank, okay? In a modified plank here, you can go up to floor if you want. Level two, you're going shoulder tap, Level three, if you want more movement, you do shoulder tap and then you jump up. Okay, three, two, one, off you go. Those do shoulder taps and jump up. Next time, do shoulder tap, hip tap. And then you can just bring it up. And then you can go shoulder tap, hip tap, knee tap. Okay, so do one shoulder tap. One shoulder hip, then one shoulder hip toe. 20 seconds left. If you're in your plank, you're just holding yourself here and you're practicing the plank position, either on your knees or full, and really focusing on the strengthening of the core. 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. But, um, okay, we come back to our legs. Number one, you can hold onto a chair for this one. And we'll do alternate step back for reverse lunge. Or you go through. Now those that want to put in the jumps, you're gonna jump from side to side. Three, two, one, go. So you're passing a can or a weight underneath. So again, this wants to be a bit more of a pulse raiser if you can. That's it. To make it easier for the jumps, you just keep your feet closer together and you move forward and back, forward and back. Okay, <laughs> keep jumping. Okay, 20 seconds left. So each of these exercises, you make it your own. You want to make it relatively hard, but we're just getting our body to warm up in these positions. 10 seconds, mobilize our joints. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna start. Okay, we come back to our stomachs, and this time it's an ab twist. So you're just gonna tap side to side. 
can have a cushion or you can have a can. Off you go. So you lean back slightly and you tap side to side. Level once, do four taps, come up and rest. Tap for four and then come up and rest. Those that feel, find these quite easy, bring your feet up. See if you can put in a jackknife in and out. Go four taps and a jackknife. That's it. You've got 30 seconds left. With this, you want to make sure your chest continues to rise and it doesn't load your back. 20 seconds left, but you want to feel it in your stomach. You might need to go super fast, some of you. That's it. That's 10 seconds. The jackknife, you can always keep your legs and hands on the floor and coming up and down. Brilliant. Three, two, one, rest up. Okay, next one, you can put a band on your legs if you want. Put my band on, because we're doing squat walks. Doesn't matter if you don't have a band. So this one here, you're sinking down and you're just doing a crab walk to the side, do a squat, crab walk to the side and squat. Start when you're ready. So all these exercises, when we go through, we'll mix them up. You can stay on the level that you want to, or you can mix them up and add an extra movement. So we've got 30 seconds left. That's it, those that want to mix this one up, pop a bed in at the end, and then pop a squat or a squat jump the other end. That's it, 20 seconds left. Three, 
three, two, one. Change to the other side. I have closed the timer. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Stay rotations again. That's it. So we're using a core to control the rotation. If you're finding the side plank hard, you can hold your hand here. You can come down and come up as you want. But 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest up. We've got our burpees. Okay, if you have weights, you might want to pop the burpee in this time. But this time we're going to add in a mountain climber. So you have mountain climber, knee drive, knee drive, mountain climber. If you want to put your weights in, pop your weights in. Already? Three, two, one, go. Those that want to, you can have a knee drive, a knee drive, and you can walk in a jump and then come up. So it just mixes it up a little bit. So with my mountain climber, my knee is coming forward, my foot can touch the floor, and then I walk up here. Now you can put your hands on a chair if you want to. So you haven't got so much of a distance to go down for burping. Okay, you've got 30 seconds left. Really try and push through. That's it, everyone loves a burpee, yeah? <laughs> if you really, really hate the burpees, just do mountain climbers. 20 seconds. That's it, level one. So make sure you just stay with your walk in and out. 15 seconds. That's it, really push through. You want to be really digging deep into these now. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. I should be able to hear your heavy breathing now down, down the waves. Okay. Level one, you're going into your plank. Level twos, threes, you're doing the build up of shoulder tap, burpee, shoulder tap, hip tap, burpee. Shoulder tap, hip tap, knee tap, burpee. Sounds complicated, doesn't it? I think you know what we're doing. Three, two, one. Level one. So we're down here in your plank, either knees or here. If you want to have a go up here, you can. We're tapping the opposite shoulder, opposite shoulder, walking in. And then we're going shoulders. And we go same side hip. And then opposite knee. Actually, I just missed. One burpee out. So we'll mix it up, make it work for you. So when we're in this position, you've got to really brace your core so your stomach is feeling nice and strong. You can do this on your knees as well. Should have said that. 15 seconds. That's it. 10 seconds. Nice. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, we're going back to a reverse lunge. We're going to go one leg at a time. One leg is going to be working. Now, options hold on to a chair and you're stepping back. Or you're going all the way down. Those who want to are going to put in a knee drive jump. Are we ready? Three, two, one. 30 seconds on each leg. Level one, I'm holding on to the chair here. So I'm browsing. And I'm coming back and up. So that knee is not going forward, but a nice, nice, sweet angle. If it hurts your knee, don't come back so far. Those are willing to push it. Let's see those knee drives coming down and up. And switch legs. So you can still be holding onto the chair, coming to the other leg. <laughs> and those are quite happy too. You're coming back and then you're driving that knee up. That's it. Work within where you are comfortable. 10 seconds. You don't want to be working where you don't feel comfortable and it feels too hard. Once you feel enjoyable. <laughs> Two, when it is enjoyable, really. I haven't stopped talking. Okay, we're coming into our ab twist. Now, this one. You're going to do two and then rest. Then you're going to do four and then six. 
then eight, and then ten, and rest. Those who want to, you'll do two jackknife, then you do four twists, and then jackknife, and then six twists, and then jackknife, and so on. You can keep going up in your twos, but I imagine you'll get to a certain amount to go, okay, I'm going to start working back down again. So we're just mixing it up. And you can lengthen. You have your feet on the floor or not. That's it, 20 seconds left. So follow your number. Don't worry if you lose count. Just go for a multiple of two. If it's hurting your back, Raise your chest up and come up more, and then twist for there. You've got eight seconds left. Go on. That's it. We're working our obliques, the sides of our core. Three, two, one. Well done. It's awesome. Okay, then our last one. Our squat box. Either with a band or that band. That band will fine. You're just doing a walk to the side. And then squat with the band. We'll just go for it. So start as soon as you're ready. Okay, you're squeezing along. Now, those that want to mix it up, you're going to do a burpee and then a squat or a squat jump. So, those who want to blast it up a bit, you're putting in that burpee one end, <laughs> or you're just doing a squat both ends. <laughs> so, you don't want to mix it up, burpee one end and squat jump at the other end. That's it, you've got 20 seconds left. Wants to be a pulse raiser. We've got a minute left. Not a minute, I'm very sorry. 15 seconds left, and then you've got a minute rest. 10 seconds. That's it. It's brilliant. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Minute down. Okay, we've got two more rounds, but I will keep mixing it up as well. So it's so squats from the side steps to start with. You've got 45 seconds rest. Grab a drink if you got one. So with the squats to turn, make it your own. If it hurt your knees, I'd much rather you just stay here and you do six squats, rest, six squats. Rest. Okay, so if the squat to turn hurt your knees, we haven't done this one in a Zoom for ages, squat to turn, but 20 seconds. Now you might want to load your weights up so you've got movement under weight. If it's too much for the turn, you're just going to go for squat. So I want to look in the squares and see everyone doing something that works for them. We're going in five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, off we go, squat to turn, squat to turn, that's it. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to call you 20 seconds and you might want to stop to have a little breather. That's 20 seconds gone, if you need to stop for a breather, stop, and then start again. That's it, oh, I can see some people jumping, coming down. And up, really blasting through. Oh, okay, rest if you need to. And then 20 seconds left. Perfect. Nice. Watch. You want to be feeling those legs now. 10 seconds. We've got a side plank mix. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest up. Okay, back into a side plank, I'm going to do hip dips. So, five, four, three, two, one. Your hips come to the floor and then they drive up. Those who are quite happy with these, you're coming down and up, or your knee, and you're driving that hip up. You can have both knees here and you can have your hand on here. You've got 10 seconds left on this side. Really drive up this hip. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. I'll stop the timer. And then 30 seconds. 
into the other side. Are you ready? Three, two, one, off you go. So you do your hip dips. My hip gently touches the floor and then it drives up. Gently touch the floor and then drive up. That's done. So this hip is being pulled up. Bring it, 10 seconds left. Drive through. I think you know what's coming up next. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, we've got burpees next. Okay. If you want to do mountain climber burpees with your knee drive, that's fine. Now, those who are struggling with the burpees have a wider leg stance, and then you might find it easier. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go for your burpees. Now, I'm going to get you to do four, have a rest. Then do five, have a rest. Then six, have a rest. Seven, we'll see where we get to. So you've got a bit of a breather in between. That's it. Okay, third you want to put in the jump as you come out of the burpee. 30 seconds left. Those that want to run all the way to the floor and then come up. 20 seconds left. You can be walking in and out with the chair. You can be jumping in and out. It doesn't matter. We're all here. That's what's important. 10 seconds. That's it. Keep going. Five. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Aha. Oh, okay, we've got a plank combination. Those that want to, just hold in the plank. Those that want to mix it up, you've got the shoulder taps, the hip taps, the knee taps, and then the burpee. Ready? Off you go. I think quite a lot of you are just going to make this your own. You can do this on your knees. Shoulder tap, hip tap. And you don't have to come up for the burpee if you don't want to. Or, some of you will be focusing on your plank. If you are focusing on your plank, make sure your elbows are above your elbow, your shoulders are above your elbows. Your tummy is in nice and tight. So if you feel your core is not that strong, this might be where you're more comfortable. 20 seconds left. Now those in the combination, keep the tummy really nice and tight. So your hips are trying not to wiggle everywhere. You try and keep them as still as you can. 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, keep going. Three, two, one, well done. Okay, we've got reverse lunge. We're going to go back to alternate reverse lunge. So it's leg to leg. Those that want to jump, you're going to jump. Okay, we're going to do jumps. Do six, have a rest. Six, have a rest. Let's go. You can hold on to your chair. Okay, those that want to add in a weight, you can either hold or you're coming through your leg. So if you've got a can, you could just whack it through your leg here. If it is hurting your knees, stay on one leg for four and then come to the other side for four. That's it, right, 30 seconds left. I can see there's gonna be some people starting to jump now. If you can't lunge jump, but you can squat jump and you want to squat jump, whack in your squat jumps now. Got 15 seconds left. That's it, keep your chest up. 10 seconds. That's it. Always work within where you're comfortable, but where it feels challenging. Three, two, one. Well done, rest off those legs. Well done. Okay, so we've got our twists. Now, if you didn't feel comfortable with these, you're going to change it this time to sit ups, either flexion or push up. I'm going to mix it up. So two ab twists and then one sit up. Four ab twists, one sit up. Okay, six ab twists, one sit up. Okay, go in your own time. If you want to just do sit ups, obviously that's fine. But we're mixing it up and you're pushing. 
sitting in a sit up in between each time. Once you've got to six, go to eight, and then go to 10, and then you might want to bring it back down again. You've got 20 seconds. Squeeze that stomach, 15 seconds. That's it, last 10 seconds. Push through, push through. Dig deep, brilliant. Three, two, one, and then we've got our last one. Whack your band on if you've got a band. If you don't have a band, don't worry. If you don't have a band, you can use your can or your weights and your room load for your squat walk and squat. Three, two, one, off you go. So level one, if you don't have a band, it's not a problem. You can just come to the side and squat. Now those that want to wrap this up, you're going to do a burpee at one end and you're going to do a squat jump at the other end. And you're staying nice and low for this squat walk. That's it, you've got 30 seconds left. That's it, squeeze through. Dig in that little bit more. That's it, all about our legs. And uh, glutes if you've got the band on. That's it. So I'm staying low in my squat as I walk. 15 seconds left. That's it. Okay, last 10 seconds. Really challenge yourself. Six, five, four, three, two, one, rest up. Minute rest, and we've got one more round. Okay, in your last round, you want to try and push yourself as hard as you feel comfortable to. Not so hard so that you won't be able to do the rest of it, or you're going to injure yourself, all safely. <laughs> so your squat to turn, you might want to add weight, or you might want to add jump or add depth in your squat. If squat to turn didn't work for your knees, please just stay as you are with the squat. We've got 30 seconds left. Grab a drink. If you feel you want to do something, you could do 30 seconds of sit-ups. <laughs> okay, you've got 15 seconds. So the first one is squat to turn. You can walk on a band if you want. Grab your weights or cans if you want. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Off we go, squat. To ten, last ones of these. So squat, see if you can increase the depth of your squat. Come up, that's it. Now, some people want to start jumping. You can always do one round as a jump and one round as a squat. That's it. So you can always jump. And then take it in to your squat. Right, 30 seconds left. That's it, challenge that body. Stop for a rest if you need to. 20 seconds left. Squeeze those legs. That's it, 15 seconds. That's it, push through. Seven, six, three, two, one, down. Okay, instead of side plank, this time we're going to do side bends. So with your cans or your weights, you bring your hand up and it's this side I'm working. Three, two, one. That's it. So I've got a weight in this hand or a can, you can just push it away. I'll tell you when we're at 30 and switch sides unless you need to switch before. So this side is pulling up, so I'm shortening this muscle as I come up. Five, four, three, two, one. Change sides. That's it. Nice cheeky side bends. That's it. 15 seconds. With the burpees, we're going to put those that want to, we'll bring in a snatch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, for your burpee, you can either keep it as you 
wear. You can still put Magic Carlo if you want. So you jump in and walking in and out. You have your can and you go floor to ceiling. Okay, those that want to, and then you'll build up each time. You'll do one set and then you'll do two each side, then three each side, then four each side. Every time you do a burpee, we're going to go in three, two, one. You can just stay with your walk in, walk out, and you can have a can here to go up and get you down for a squat. So you can do this with a can. Okay, and you're going to build up. That floor to overhead movement. So you do one each side, then two each side. That's it. 30 seconds left. Either walking out or jumping out, make it your own. So you're pulling up. That's it. Brilliant. And I'm building up on my floor to overhead. 15 seconds left. Brilliant. We've got 10 seconds left. Make sure you're equal on your arms. You might need to do singles for your snatch. Four, three, two, one, rest. That was a cheeky little twist, wasn't it? Okay. We're back to our plank combo. No twist there. Just keep going as you were. Either normal plank on your elbows or we're coming up for combo. Start when you're ready. So it's your shoulder, your same side hip, and your knees, and then you can jump up into your burpee. That's it. Level one, you can always have a go with this on your knees if you're not ready. So it's away from one hand to the other. Come on your knees to your hip. To your thigh, and you don't need to do your burpee unless you want to. Okay, you've got 20 seconds left. If you're full, really brace that core. Try and avoid these hips rolling from side to side. We're going to move a little bit, but you don't want to move a lot. <laughs> 10 seconds left. That's it. Really drive through. Four, three, two, one, whoosh, well done. Okay, reverse lunge. Single reverse lunge again. Either hold a chair, tap back, or one leg, or knee drive up. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Level one, you can always just hold it here for 30 seconds, or tap back. All about this front leg. Those who wanting to blast it, you come back and you drive up. That's your hip. So you make it your own. Everyone needs to make it your own. So when I look in the grid, I can see everyone doing something slightly different. Three, two, one, change over. That's it. So we're loading on this front leg. If you find you're wobbly, put your feet further apart from each other. Gives you more of a stable base. That's it. Some of you are going to start blasting now, I think. That's it. Seven, six, that's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest up. Okay. We're going to bring back the sit ups, but we're going to do two twists and then two sit ups. Four twists, four sit ups. Six twists, let's go as soon as you're ready. So two twists, either pop to your knees. That's it. So you do your twists and then your sit-ups. If you're finding it hard to get up, just stay with your ab twists, go eight twists, and then come down, then go for your sit-ups. Make it work for you. Okay, you've got 30 seconds left. We're already working those twists now. And then you're working your crunch. So we're working out obliques. So we've got 20 seconds left. Work within that movement. That's it, 15 seconds left. Challenge that core. 
10 seconds left. It's a bit late me saying it in the day, but you can put your feet underneath the sofa to help you. Three, two, one. A bit late saying that. Okay, last one. Squat to walk. Now, these ones here, nice and low. Either breaking at the end or as a squat. Off we go. So deep, you can hold the weight here. Yeah. And you have a burpee or a squat at the end. That's it. If you've got a band, the bands do help work those glutes. That's it. Brilliant. Now, some of you might want to put in a squat jump at the end and burpee at the other end. 30 seconds left. Really squeeze those legs. That's it. 20 seconds. So drive your legs. Your legs want to be feeling this. 15 seconds. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Rest up. Nice. Okay, so I've got a six minute core. It's three exercises. It'll slow down a little bit. But I am going to give you an option to keep it ramped up. The first one, the first exercise, is sit up and pass through or toe taps. So, level one, you can come here, or those that can, you're coming up. Now, the little twist is, for those that want to, going to come up for a reverse burpee, you're going to do two sit-ups to pass through and come up. <laughs> then you do four sit-ups to pass through and come up. If you cannot do a reverse burpee, don't worry, it's just a bit of fun. Okay, so we're going to do that for 45 seconds. You don't need to be getting up if you want to focus on your core. If you're finding hard to sit up, you just going to do two taps here to here. Are you ready? Three, two, one, off you go. Two taps, level ones, you can stay here. You're putting in that stomach and feeling your stomach strengthen. Those that want to are taking it through. And then reverse purple, you come up. I roll forward, come up and down. It's a bit of fun. 30 seconds left. That's it. 20 seconds. So the reverse then is just a bit of fun. But I quite like them. When you're coming up, make sure your knees are not it in. 10 seconds. Squeeze that stomach. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Get to rest now. Okay, the next exercise is a plank pull through. I'm get my mat right for you. With a can or a weight, you're here and you're going to pull through and pull through and engage. Have a go. You can be on your knees. It might be you just want to hold this position. Now, I want you to really focus and try not to let those hips wiggle too much. So, this is quite a stationary one. So, it's just about the core. You might find it easier on your hand and your elbows. You might find you want to come down here to do it and to pass through. The heavier the weight, the harder it is. 10 seconds left. That's it. And we're just focusing on the core for this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. And then the last one is a prone call. Now, this one we just get to lie down on our tummies and you're pulling your hands in to the floor. So, those that know this start, I'm lying down, my hands are coming down here and lying on my shoulders and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. My hands aren't touching the floor, my head faces down to the floor and I can feel it on my back. 
You can always do it with a can if you want to. But it's all about the strengthening and it's harder than it looks to start to kick in. Got 15 seconds left. Really nice for your back. 10 seconds left. And then we'll do those three again. Four, three, two, one. Rest up. Okay, we come back to a sit up and pass through. Those that want to put in the reverse burpee, do so. <laughs> so we're coming back to here, level one, so you can toe tap. Three, two, one, off we go. 45 seconds. So toe tappers, you're engaging that core, really working and strengthening. Sit up to pass through. You can do this without your uh, back coming off the floor. Those who want to bring it up into your reverse burpee and take it down again. We've got 20 seconds left. Pop in those reverse burpees for those that want to. That's it. 10 seconds. Strengthening that core. Seven, six, five, three, two, one, rest up. Okay, prone pull, this time put in a burpee if you want to. So prone pull, if you do two, and then burpee, and then four, and then burpee, and then six, and then burpee. You don't need to burpee though. Just make sure you move your weight so it's not in your way. So 30 seconds left. I think I started this one again. That's it. Brace that core. You can do it on your knees. Hang your hips up to make it easier or bring them down. 15 seconds. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest up, coming down to your stomach. Take it to a prone pull. Those that want to snow into the bar, do so. So you pull down and then you snow into a second. Upside down, snow into Off you go when you're ready. So my head faces down towards the floor and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. Reach up and then do a nice big snow angel and upside down snow angel. That's it. And it will start to kick in. If you can't feel it enough, add in cans or add in weights and you will feel it there. But 15 seconds left. That's it, straighten that back. And 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Well done. Okay, I'm going to do one little finisher. One little finisher with arms. Okay, either with cans or with uh, weights. <laughs> You're going to do in groups of eight or ten for shoulder press for one minute. And then we're going to do upright row. Okay, three. Two, one, off you go. So you're just pushing up. Those who have got a heavier weight, you can always go one way and do five one side, five the other side. Those that have got cans and they feel quite light, go super quick and it will start to kick in. When you're doing this, pull your tummy in and squeeze your glutes. That's it. Jeez, my watch, my timer. Okay. 30 seconds left. If it's getting too heavy, you squat and you press. Okay, so squeeze. That's it. Keep going. 10, 9, 8. Keep going. 3, 2, 1. Rest off. Now you can do this with your hands. You're going to do an upright row. Those that want to, pop in and around the world. 
So you're coming up to your elbows or up, start as soon as you're ready. Squeezing round and up, squeezing round and up. You can do this with hands. If you can't feel it with hands, hold your hands out here in circle and you will feel it. We're going to go for another 30 seconds and then we'll feel our arms have been loved today as well. That's it. And then we're going to finish with a minute plank, a normal plank. <laughs> so keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you can't do a plank for any reason, go into sit ups instead. Okay, come into a plank position. If you can, if you're not here, you can also hold it as modified. It doesn't need to be full. In and out for a minute. Off we go. So with your plank position, if you're full, your tailbone is pointing down towards your ankles. If you're half, your tailbone is pointing down towards your knees. This is a brilliant core strengthening position. And you're trying to pull that stomach in so you're engaging the stomach as much as you can. Your shoulders want to be above your elbows. Your back doesn't want to be rounded too much. So your chest is coming down towards the floor. This is our last exercise before we stretch. 30 seconds. That's it. Well done. You can alternate between up and on your knees as you want to. Last 20 seconds. Feeling nice and strong. Brilliant. Last 10 seconds and then we stretch. If you need to go on your knees, that's fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Nice. Come up onto all fours and cat cow your back. Brilliant, guys. And so just ease off your back, reach up and down, reach up and down. And then we'll develop it into a downward and back. So you're just coming down, sinking to where it's comfortable, and then coming back. That's it, pushing your shoulders back. That's it, well done. Then we're going to come up onto a cow. So come underneath my toes, walk up into a downward dog of sorts, but heels coming down and you walk your calves just to stretch out those calves. Taking a deep breath in and out. And then you're going to walk those calves back and then you come back down to lying and you're going to hold your leg and stretch the front of your thigh. You can put your head on the floor, take a deep breath in and slowly release. Drive that hip down into the floor and then release and change to the other leg. Brilliant. Good. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drive that hip into the floor for the stretch. That's it. And then we're going to come up to sitting. Pop one leg out in front of you with your band or your towel or your jumper. The loop as if you're a state player, you come up and over and put the stretch in the back of your leg. And just focus on how your body is feeling and any tightness, any strains, and just switch from leg to leg. One leg might feel tighter than the other. If it does, just take note. And if one leg is tight, you need to spend a little bit longer, give it a bit of love. That's it. And we're going to alternate this with feet together and pushing down. So do that a few times. So you've got your hamstring stretch, Hamstring to hamstring, holding four to six seconds, and then put your feet together and pushing down. Just get in between the stretches. So, this last one is here. I'm going quite quick from side to side. And then coming in. Nice. And then you either cross legged or on your knees, grab that band. So, very similar to what we did at the start. You're reaching back, 
and then you're going to reach forward and let your body sink. Come back and reach forward. If you're cross-legged, you'll feel it on one glute more than the other. So you might find you need to change your legs over as well. And then alternate this with a nice side to side stretch and open that. Well done. So, and then we'll develop it into our neck. So when you're ready, just take your neck to the side, roll to the front, take it to the side, and just let yourself have a few calm moments to yourself. Note how your body is feeling. Note how your mind is feeling. Be proud of yourself for doing this. <laughs> Slowly come up and just ease your shoulders off. We're going to come up into a forward fold and hang and then just finish off. So just finish off here in your forward fold and then you're going to very slowly rise up. So your head is the last part of your body to rise and then bring those shoulders back. Take a deep breath in, just take a deep breath in, bring the shoulder up and around and exhale. So three deep breaths in, up and around. In, up, and around. Well done. <laughs> Great effort.